Time for this week's Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week. But before we just hand it over to Austin Scott, a special note on Saturday, Austin, a Wapak native who's been racing stock cars over in Montpelier, Indiana. Last week, for the first time, Scooter took home the checkered flag, winning the FWD Challenge. Congratulations, Austin. He's right there. Northwest Conference football leads off this week's countdown. Delphus Jefferson's Hunter Binkley on the handoff, and he uses the truck stick to get into the end zone. Jeff Katz scored 51 unanswered points to get the 51-7 victory. Shawnee makes its first appearance in the top five plays this school year at number four. Check out the wild formation by the Indians, and it's Ray Manley rolling out and hitting Zach Casey for the touchdown. Watch again as Casey comes out of the three-point stance to reel in the pass. The Minster Wildcats get the third spot during their visit to Anna. Travis Meyer looks to pass and the ball bounces out of his receiver's hands and into the hands of Jacob Dews for the interception. The Wildcats stretch their winning streak to five as they gain momentum for the postseason. Elida's Logan Alexander takes runner-up honors in his final regular season home game. He uses the read option to his advantage here, keeps it for himself, and goes the rest of the way for the 56-yard touchdown. A Bulldogs goal line stand on the next Ottawa Glandorf drive makes that run the game winner. One of the best rivalry games in the area takes this week's number one spot. St. Mary's trying to punt, and Corey Crawford busts through the line and gets a big paw on it, and Dylan Keel comes by and scoops it up on the run and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Wapak Canetta uses a huge second-half surge to claim the 46-7 victory and their second straight WBL crown. As always, we thank Layfeld Welding for their support, and I'm sure there will be more league titles won in next week's edition of the Top 5 Plays.